Okay, guys, so I got a fresh installation of Debian here from the install CD. I'm going to show you how to get your uh, repositories up to speed real quick. Uh, and let me show you why real quick. So if we go over here and we type in terminal, and we go to terminal here, and let me do, a, uh, do an SU. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in. So if I do an app install fish, because I want to use the fish terminal, and to say blah 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 is not going to be installed, but Python blah blah is not. Well, this is let me let me show you why real quick. Uh, if you go right here, um, into app and sources dot list, uh, this is pretty much uh, see bullseye security. This is pretty much all that it came with because. It came off of the CD-ROM, a lot of the repositories, so it didn't put this. I didn't have the internet connection set up right. Anyway, this happens to a lot of people that are like, why can't I install packages? Why isn't it working? Well, it only gave you some. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and make sure it has the latest repository packages. So the thing we're going to go ahead and do here is I'm just going to open up Firefox ESR on this thing. Uh, as soon as it opens. Okay, there you go. And I'm just going to type in uh, Debian Repositories. Uh, bullseye like that uh, source list for bullseye which is debian 11 uh so you're gonna see uh component one component two uh here you go bullseye updates main bullseye uh updates main security main bullseye main uh for those an example source list and then here's one for main contrib and non-free uh main contrib non-free make so you're getting the security uh you're getting the security packages the updates packages and the standard packages and then if you want the backports you can add this one so we're going to go ahead and do the non-free and we're going to go ahead and just do the backports as well so i uh, copied and pasted this right here and then we're going to go down and we're going to just say, where's the terminal? Terminal, where are you? And we're just going to paste you there. Delete those two lines. Go down a line just so it's uniform. Uh, open this back up. Going to copy this. Uh, and then we're going to go back down. And we're going to include the back ports. So this is like right under rolling where you got the back ports, you got the updates, the security, you got the main, the contributor packages, and the non-free packages. This is the way I'd recommend setting up on Debian to get like mostly the latest packages, but not be on a rolling release. With the rolling releases, right when the developers release a package on GitHub or anything else, uh, you get the updates. Sometimes you might have a dependency conflict or something. It happens actually this every so often, but if you're a developer, you know how to fix it pretty easy. Anyway, so now that I did that, I'm going to do app update, right? And it's going to go ahead and uh, pull in all those uh, new sources that we did. And then I'm going to do app uh, full upgrade. I think it's full upgrade like that. Yes. Or app upgrade. Okay, so it doesn't need anything. Now, I should be able to install the fish package. So see, now it's letting me install the fish package. So before it was complaining because I didn't have the Python packages, uh, but now it's letting me install the fish package, so we're good to go. Now I can load fish up, right? And I get the new friendly fish interactive shell. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. I like it. I like fish. Fish is nice. You just tab it out and you see all these beautiful little selections and stuff. I think fish is awesome, right? So, um, yeah, that's good for me. Works good. Looks awesome. All right. Uh, another thing I want to do is I'm going to change my default shell real quick. Um, this does uh, shells. Fish. Okay, so if you want to change your default shell, you go ahead. That's WP. Go ahead. In fish. And then we're going to go over to here. And I'm going to add to user bin fish. So now, uh, 
update and fish or uh i'm sorry i don't know what i was doing right there anyway so that's it uh changing my shell installed fish and gave you an example of why the repository pack just break a lot of the time uh after, especially after you get done or i mean where you can't download the pack that you want because you have dependency conflict because you just finished installing well you need to make sure your sources are you know correct and you have the latest ones in the back port stable and stuff but you're not enrolling so you're not having like a, a screw up every so often so anyway if you like the video like and subscribe uh send me your ex-girlfriend buy me a cup of coffee uh you know the deal thanks